In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to stop your dog from stealing objects and playing keep away with their toys. I'm going to be working with this little lab puppy here. I'm going to show you what she does when I try to reach for her or the toy when she has something. Come here. Okay. So as you can see, she wants to play keep away. And the reason why she is doing this is because her owners have been taking objects away from her consistently. Very common with retriever puppies, they love to put everything and anything in their mouths when they're really young. So she's about six months old. And what happens is when you don't provide the necessary management inside the home, the dog is going to pick up things like socks, remote controls, glasses, shoes, all these items that you have to take away from the dog. So it doesn't take long for the dog to learn that every time they pick up something, you're going to take it away and you're not gonna give it back. So then they start to play keep away. And if you have goals for your dog being able to re retrieve in the future, it's gonna really set you back because the dog has this mentality of every time they have something in their mouth, when you approach, you're going to take it away. So what I want to do with this dog is change that mindset. I want her to learn that her interacting with me with toys is something that she's going to enjoy. Let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get a leash attached to her so I can control that evasive movement. All right, I'm going, I have a little bit of food in my pocket. Let me get that out. Come here, girl. Good, and I'm going to feed. Now I've got a toy in my pocket, something that she hasn't seen, so I'm guessing that she'll be interested in it. I'm just going to tease her a little bit, and I'm just going to toss it on the ground. Good girl. Now I'm going to pet her. Good girl. Yes, that was good. Good girl. So I wanted to show her, let her be proud of the object that she has. Good girl, that was good. And show her that she can be over beside me and I'm not going to instantly take that away from her. What a good girl. Good girl. Good. Good. See the keep away? I'm gonna get down low. Come here. Encourage her. Come on, girl. Yes. Good. And not take that object from her immediately. Good. What a good dog. Yes. What a good girl. Very good. Yes. Good girl. Good. See how proud she is with it? Good. Good. Toss again. Good girl. Yeah, good, good girl, good. And so this is the benefit you get from not immediately taking that object from them and petting them and praising them. Good girl, good girl, yeah, good. So we can get these natural retriever instincts, good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide an exchange. So I'm going to exchange a piece of food and then she's probably going to drop it. I'm going to give her that piece of food and then I'm going to go right back to engaging with her with the toy. So let's see if I can get her interested in the toy. Good girl. Good. Plot my food. Exchange, and now we go back to play. And this may be a little bit sloppy at first. When you're first practicing, you're noticing here, once she received a little bit of that cheese that I gave her, um, she's a little bit more interested in the food. And this may happen with your dog. You may lower the value of the treats, and you may exchange with kibble, 
or you just kind of ignore the dog and just try to work on getting them back to engaging. She may prefer that other toy. Good girl. Good. Good. Again, inviting her in, petting. Drop. Good. Let's review a few of these concepts that I just covered. If you find your dog is consistently taking objects such as shoes, um, your glasses, chewing up remote controls, whatever it may be, that lets you know that you need to provide better management. So you need to be supervising your dog more closely and then confining your dog to a crate or a playpen or a puppy proof room when you are unable to supervise. This way if you catch a puppy beginning to grab an object that is inappropriate, you can interrupt them, all right? So you wanna make sure if you're giving your dog feedback that that's an unwanted behavior, you need to do it as soon as the dog begins to pick up the object rather than finding your dog carrying something around. So if you do find your dog has maybe picked up a sock or shoe, say a few minutes ago when you were not watching, then I would recommend um, exchanging that item for food. Now you do not want to find yourself doing this consistently because you run the risk of your dog learning that they may be able to pick up random objects in order to receive food from you. So if you find yourself doing that often, then you're not watching your dog closely enough. However, if a dog does pick up something and they have it, I will often exchange for food because I would rather uh, run the risk of them possibly learning to pick up objects in order for me to feed them rather than learning keep away and ruining my retrieve. But that's not optimal. So you need to be watching your dog closely, interrupting, interrupting them as soon as they pick up something. And then if you find that your dog does grab something um, and you catch them after the fact and they still have the object, do not get in a chase game with the dog work on calling your dog to, to you, exchange for food, and then put away the object. Now when you're working on teaching your dog to bring objects back to you, you wanna be practicing with toys because these are items that you will be able to give the dog back. So you may have several toys that your dog likes to play with and you wanna go out and practice um, tossing these toys at a short distance at first like I did with the, putting the dog on the leash. And then as your dog moves towards you, you wanna be praising them and not constantly taking the object away from them because if they've already had this mindset that they need to evade you with the object and your dog doesn't really understand initially the difference between um, a soft tug toy um, versus a sock okay so as you saw in the video I'm tossing the toy I'm praising the dog and then I'm often exchanging for food and then tossing the toy again now a lot of dogs um, do not need that food exchange, especially with that lab puppy you saw in the video. It won't be long before I'll be able to just fade out the food and just toss the object. Okay, so what I'll be doing with her is I will be praising her and then as soon as she comes back, once I take the toy out, I will immediately toss it so she learns that coming back to me gets the, the chase game going again. But with some dogs I find it helpful to do a little exchange for food along with all that praise. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.